my soul needed a savage friend, a weird daredevil, but do you mend my life? He came at it and thinks you got me on the wrong track. Fought the cancer bitch in a colder sack. Lean says bite back. On life stacked racetrack we react, lacking the cool, but we lean and we lean. Hi, this is Lou. Hi, it's Lean. Okay, so today we're doing a few things. We're doing the giveaway draw. Ooh, ooh, yay! And then we're going to do a mighty long fall. We, but we wanted to do that. I think it's called Negason. Negason. I don't know how to pronounce that. That like specific concept. But because it was so heavily watermarked, it's really difficult to watch. So we're just going to do. There's a medley including some of that performance, and then we're going to watch the behind the scenes for that concert as well, which is going to be fun, which is fr officially from 1OK Rock. So we've got two videos and one draw today. Yay. Okay, so we're going to do the draw first to get it out of the way. And um, we have not forgot about making the badges with your little um, 1OK Rock quotes in them. We're just not there yet. I've had a hectic couple of weeks, but we're going to do the draw right now. So good luck. Draw. Drum roll, Louise. <laughs> Do it. Ready? Ready. Boom. Why is it? I just seen Lena Lou react. I know. Why wow. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Roronoa Gabby. There we go. That is the winning comments. Yeah. And you are the winner of the giveaway item. So what you have to do is I will give you a link to the blog post. And on there, all the items are numbered. You get to pick five items from everything there. And those things will wing their way to you. So drop us a message on Facebook or on Instagram. Or if you have seen the blog already, just email us via the blog. And we will give you your stuff. Yay. I think our name was in there because we'd replied to comments. So if it had yeah, imagine if we'd <laughs> won. <laughs> we'd be like, Louise, well done. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> we'd have to have done it again. But that was funny. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, this is the first video. Okay. You can introduce what one it is. Okay, so this is a this is a Mighty Long Fall we're listening to. We haven't heard Mighty Long Fall. And this is a medley, so I think it's like like a like they overlay the performance at different locations all together. But like I think when he's in the white shirt, which we seen which like he's got like a white cutoff shirt, I think that's the performance that I don't know how to pronounce that word. Let's just see. At um, uh, Nagasin, 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 Nagasin. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't speak Japanese. I'm sorry. Nagasan. Nagasan. So that, that's the one. That's the performance we we're told to watch, but it's watermarked. So we're going to watch the medley, which has a bit of that in there as well. So Before we get into it, I just remembered. I got my one OK rock tattoo. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that is so cool. It's the lyrics for renegade and then right underneath is the japanese i can't pronounce it in japanese but in english it says the moon is beautiful isn't it which is how the japanese say i love you so it's a real one okay rock lyrics followed by i love you oh so, i love that so cute and it has birds you can't even see them on camera but there's little birds flying off of the take a deep breath close your eyes and get ready to fly oh you got to take there we go take a photo of it and put it on our community page I will do. So if you want to see it up close, go to our community page and you'll see my one OK Rock. <laughs> OK, Let's we'll get in. into it then. Let's do it. Oh, why is this?
tell you, Toro looks good with that hair, man. He does. We, he, we've only ever really seen him with his like blonde hair, and it looks like dark red in some of those clips. Yeah, it does. It does. It looks really good. This is a really cool song as well. I'm really enjoying it so far. I like it. At first, when it, the first couple of lines, I wasn't sure, and then once it got into that chorus, I was like, no, I like this song. Yeah, <laughs> and I think like um, I thought this might be more of a screamer, but maybe it will become one. You know what? One okay rock is like but like tak is singing a lot in this as well like he's using a lot of like voice like what's the word like uh inflection and like he's really pushing himself as far as singing goes in this so you know i'm enjoying it so far he's got such a beautiful like voice it. so he does i was sitting thinking that there when he started singing rather than more like the rocky he was more like the softer singer and i was like he's got such an, a soothing voice he does he does he's just it's, got, it's a, such a stable voice you know so stable and warm yes. i like it i like it too right you ready yeah Also, the blonde hair, dark under. Yes, it looks good. It does. It does. I like that look. I had dark under now, but I had unintentional dark under a mullet, and this has been cut off. So I actually do have two toed hair. The top is red, but the underneath is actually jet black. Look. Yeah, I think my I think my hairdresser was too lazy. You can still see a bit of it there. Too lazy to dye the little bits that were growing yeah. out underneath. <laughs> <laughs> so she just waited for it to grow and cut like, it all. <laughs> cut it off. Yeah, I have. I actually have three toned hair. I have jet black, and then the next layer is actually maroon, <laughs> and then the top layer is red. I have three tones of hair. You're such a rock chick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not today though. <laughs> okay, ready. ready. lyrics so far uh, have you been paying attention not much <laughs> i have to admit it okay i was going to try and bullshit you guys there for a bit uh, from what i can understand is it's like there's a mighty long fall from the top <laughs> It seems to be about love. It seems to be about a toxic relationship again. <laughs> it seems to be about um, the mighty long fall is once you're on the high on love and then realizing that this is, the, the relationship is just there. Yeah. It's just not. And it's the, the fall, the like the breakup, the destruction. The, that kind of seems to be what it's about. And the person waking up that they are the problem. Not the singer, but he's talking about the person. They should wake up and realize they're the problem. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta pay attention now. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see if I'm right. <laughs> I was so just 
distracted by this song. I'm really enjoying this song. Like I was kind of too. I missed the whole first verse. I'm a little lad. And I've had to try and catch up in the last part. So I'm hoping that's what the song's about. <laughs> but I will look at it properly after we listen to it, okay? <laughs> See, this is not that we're not paying attention. It's just it's a really good song. It is. We're trying to like <laughs> so much to everything. walk. Exactly. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good look for him, the blonde. He in is. The dark. He looked really good. Even the style it was in, it's a good look. And then we animal on the drums. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say though, like Negerson, I'd love to have been at that concert. That looks like it was on fire. It so, looks wild. That, it does. Their performance there looks really good. We only saw splits of it, but splits, splits of it. We only saw bits of it, but it was really good. So. Yeah. Do you want to look at the lyrics? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, if you want to look at the lyrics, let's look at the lyrics. <laughs> because I feel like we didn't do that any justice. <laughs> you can see Lou's Luxie Daisy today. I'm like, woo, chatty party. I'm actually not on the ball today because I am very tired, but I'm more on the ball than you, it would appear. Yeah. <laughs> so it does seem to be about a breakup. Okay, so I was right. It's about somebody leaving you. So I don't think the other person's the toxic person. I think it's a realization that you're the one that's at fault and then the other person up and left you and gave you a massive shock. Yeah. I don't know because it says time to make amends for what you've done. So I think it's more you're blindsided by the person you're in love with just up and leaving out of the blue, like treating you like you're disposable and not giving more consideration to you. Yeah, and there's so many circumstances that surround that. It's like somebody leaving you for someone else, someone cheating on you, someone betraying you, someone like just betraying your trust. So, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I know that feeling. So It do. does sort of read like um, the, the person singing is the person left behind and it came out of the blue and they don't understand why it was done to them. It kind of explains why the... Um, fuck you, fucking fall moments were in there. <laughs> it's very rare. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, that seems to be what it's about. I like it. I like it. It's going definitely going straight on my Spotify. So I like Look, that a lot. Can we just agree at this moment in time, every single one OK Rock it is a certainty that it's going on our playlist. <laughs> Like, I doubt we're ever going to bypass one because we haven't yet. Yeah. So just, I, yeah. I, I was playing a lot of it. Well, we, we can only play the songs we react to, which sucks. But, yeah, I was playing the, like a good number of their songs. When was it? Yesterday or the day before? So I was like... Actually, we also have a band that we need to introduce to the One OK Rock fandom because Lean was duped. By her own child. Liam was listening to a One OK Rock playlist, and while I was <laughs> out of the room, my child turned on another. Oh, I just got attacked by a fly. My child turned on another rock band to see if I would notice the difference, and I swear I did not realize it was a different band. <laughs> they sounded so like One OK Rock. They had their vibe, their way of like, composing their music. Obviously, it was a different voice, but he was really similar to Taka. So because I was out of the room and only hearing it, like, from another room, I could have swore it was One OK Rock. And then I walked in, I saw it was a different band, and I was like, who the hell are these? <laughs> these are not One OK Rock. So maybe in the future, we should introduce this band to the One OK Rock fandom, because if they like One OK Rock, they will most certainly like this band. And 
they were a band who were obsolete for a while and they are back together and are on tour so it's a band that is current and they might actually be interested in them cool what is their names i'm sure it's the pierce the pierce i sent it to you you did the piece or the pierce or something said, we will find it you sent it to me in the middle of studying massive amounts of work <laughs> so i listened to it briefly i kind of like he's they're similar but like tech has got my personal opinion a better voice but like he does excuse me there is no competition <laughs> lena is not even on a, a debate on this nobody nobody has taka's voice okay but they do have good they do have good songs they do yeah. and the fact that i was duped into not even realize it i just thought it was a slightly different one okay rock song yeah that maybe taka was i don't know trying different things with his voice or something and then i walked back in the room and i was immediately like wait a minute that does not sound like <laughs> what is going on here <laughs> But they are very similar, so I do think the One OK Rock fandom might appreciate them. That's cool. All okay, right, let's so watch the behind the scenes uh, stuff from the Negum 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 concert. Um, and I'm I'm praying that our reaction doesn't get blocked for the first video. So we shall wait and see. Wait, is that a completely different song? Yeah, it's the whole concert. It's not just Mighty Longfall. So, but it's at the same location as they did Mighty Longfall as well. All right, okay. Right, I get it's it. Apparently, one it. of the most epic concerts. So, okay. All right, let's watch it. Okay, let's get into it. Oh, full screen. Why is it? I know I'm trying to get it up. There we go. Ooh. Yes, I was just thinking. I really like the hair color. Yeah. Actually, I've just realized Toru's hair is not far off the hair color when Ming's redone. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like his hair color. I'm like, wait, my hair's out color when it gets done again. Oh, that's so funny. That's so awesome. Girl, I was just sitting thinking there how jealous I am that you're literally going to live <laughs> so close. That literal, just like one OK Rock concert on Tuesday and you'd be like, mm, it's only like a one hour flight. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to the ferry as well, which is like one oh, wow. sick day of work <laughs> and that's it. Oh, I'm so jealous. So, um... They are like, coming to London, girl, so you could make a plan. I don't live anywhere near London. I live seven hours away from London. It's not that easy to get to London That's from no here. That's no excuse. <laughs> it is an excuse. <laughs> London is brutal. I hate London. I London is like you going to New York City from being in a peaceful place to being in crazy. Like, I hate London. No, I no. hate it. I know. I'm just saying. So... I might, I, I, might be working, I might be working in Korea at the like at the like rural end of Korea and then I have like four hours to get to Seoul <laughs> if I have to go to a concert. Uh, yeah, but Seoul seems so much more peaceful. London's chaotic. I've been to like, London. It is chaotic, but you can still navigate. It's in English. You can go. <laughs> 
<laughs> just get yeah, on the right train. They, they need to I, perform in Glasgow. That's who they need to perform. They do. They need to come. There's not many. Like, they always put, like, one maybe. Look, when they do worldwide tours, they usually put the UK on and they usually stick to England. Occasionally, a band will put one in Glasgow. Occasionally. And uh, it's always Glasgow, though. We have four major cities you could put to like we have stadiums all over scotland huge ones yeah. and nobody uses them we have one in edinburgh a massive stadium that's been used for hundreds of things and bands from overseas never use it dudes get to edinburgh i Do live it. half an hour away half an hour <laughs> oh sorry for you sorry for me Right, you're right. What's for the ball? <laughs> I have an excuse though. I'm moving to Korea, so I'm not going anywhere. Well, I'm trying to get my certification sorted so I can work there. So because I know that one OK Rock's coming to like Los Angeles and stuff, but I have no money right now and I'm getting my certifications. So when I'm in in Asia, then I will go and see them. So when I come and visit you, I'll go and see them. Yeah, we'll have to I'd rather go us. visit you than go to Japan than literally just go to London. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I spend enough time down south. I don't want to go to London. Okay, you ready? ready. This song seems more rock pop than it does our classic rock that we know from them. It, it just feels, it's not my favourite. First time ever, <laughs> it's not my favourite. I don't mind I it. I like it, but it's not my go-to of the list of songs. Yeah. yeah, I haven't even really been paying attention to the lyrics because we've been watching all the little clips of them behind the scenes. So I have no idea what the song is about. Yeah, I just, I was the same. I'm just paying attention to what's happening at the actual concert itself. Um, same. So. And I'm thinking Toro should keep that red hair because it actually really suits him. <laughs> You're obsessed with his red hair. <laughs> and what I'm thinking. It's time I got mine recolored. Mine's looking very <laughs> fady. Toro, you're showing me up here. You're stealing my color and making it look better. I like, just uh, I like. was going to say, I, I like that the fact that they are so laid back behind the scenes in this. I mean, he's playing soccer and they're just chilling and they just seem to have really like gelled and had a good time doing this concert. It feels like it's one of those concerts where, you know, everything comes together really smoothly and really well. Um, and yeah, on stage, they look like they're having the best time, you know, so it looks like a really clean, well executed concert. It's kind of giving me tea in the park. Yes. Do you know what? Tea, yeah. That kind of, the whole atmosphere of tea in the park, all the bands there all weekend, they kind of just peruse around and drink and party and chill behind in the, like, their area. But some of them do come out into the crowds and it's very this. It seems like a sunny, warm day, an open air venue. Everyone's chill, having a good time. And then when they get on stage, it's fire. Yeah. Everyone is so hyped up and like ready for it. It's totally giving me tea in the park. It is. For those of you that are not from the UK, tea in the park is like a major music thing in the UK every year where bands from all around the world come and perform. I think it's like four days, isn't it? Yeah. It's a, an open air, they put a big massive stage, it looks very like this, and it's like a camping, outside party thing. And for four days you live in wellies, dirty hair, and mud, yeah. and everyone gets drunk, and it's like the best time ever. Yeah, they have similar stuff here in the States, you know, so yeah, I, I like it, it looks good. I um, like, wish I could be there. I also like daytime concerts, because I feel like sometimes, I like night concerts, but I also like daytime concerts. Just feels more the, open. The Brit, there's another one. There's the English version. 
it starts with a G. Glastonbury. Oh, Glastonbury. Yeah. 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 I had to think there because I'm pretty sure Tea in the Park is a Scottish one. Yeah, I think it's the best one. I think one. it is. <laughs> best one. Okay, you ready? Ready. Actually, now I'm like paying more attention to the song rather than the clips. I actually do like this song. The choruses are a bit more our traditional one OK rock sound. Yeah. The verses are a bit more rock pop. But when you actually listen to what he's singing too, I actually really like the lyrics yeah. too. The lyrics are really cool. I also feel like um, I was just thinking how what good entertainers they are. Like, they're so good at entertaining. You know, there's very few bands in the world that can do that. I think there's a pl bands like U2, BTS, and One OK Rock. They know how to, like, keep an audience captured and participate. And it's, 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 it's incredible to see, you know. They're natural-born performers. I think that it's something that if you're someone with a very strong personality and a lot of charisma, you're just a natural born performer they definitely it's not just one of them and one okay like crick <laughs> one okay rock it's all four of them all four of yeah. them have good presence all yeah. four of them you can't separate them out and be like oh that concert was good because of taka you constantly yeah. like, can't speak why can't i not speak <laughs> you constantly are aware that all four of them are there and pulling your attention i think yeah. that's what the magic formula of one okay rock is it is and the other thing is is that i appreciate bands that give it their all you know i'm sure you like me when i was younger i went to a lot of rock concerts and some bands really push and they like they're literally like sweating out their soul on stage and other bands just do the minimum and mm -hmm. you know you like oh i wasted money on that ticket there so but like i feel like one okay rock would never do that they would be the mm -hmm. type of band that they're going to give it their all and they're going to be probably on oxygen behind the stage <laughs> afterwards and lose their voices <laughs> but you know that's the thing is like um they just give everything to their craft and it's really it's really beautiful to watch you know because it, we like, like passionate people we because do. we are passionate people exactly. we don't do anything in half measures exactly. we are all in or all out <laughs> that's like yeah good example i'm freaking determined to learn korean fluently <laughs> before i go to korea and i'm like i'm studying like 16 17 hours a day and you're at the moment i, I can testify that lou is like <laughs> up every day at half five for a three hour korean lesson and then as soon as we're finished in the afternoon she's straight to her homework <laughs> spending like eight hours a day as well as doing her actual day job doing korean lessons I know. yeah I'm like dedication Chris. queen dedication <laughs> <laughs> okay you ready? ready i think this is almost done she's sticking down There were some height of fireworks. That is amazing. Look at how beautiful You can that see is. them from across the country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. Why? You're going to be living next door. <laughs> You'll just be like, oh, it's just a one day trip. Just go there at breakfast, come home by dinner. Oh. Like, oh, seriously. Oh. I'm going to have to like, come over there and. <laughs> just you that I just want to be at that concert. I wanted to. Have, um, I missed that. How did I miss that? <laughs> you will soon get to go to a One OK Rock concert. Mm. I will. With or without me, <laughs> you will be close enough to go. I would not do a One OK Rock concert without you. I would let you, though. I would let you. 
You'd be so jealous. I would be raging jealous. <laughs> I'd be like, I totally would let you go. <laughs> you would you want to laugh while I'm there and you'd be like, <laughs> no, don't even tell me. Don't give me an update. Don't talk to me for the next two weeks. But I'm totally fine when you go in. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be so funny now I'll, maybe somebody I'll will be nice to us and be like come and come stay with us in japan i'll take you to a one okay rock concert the only way i would go to one without you is if i got free tickets or something and then i was like oh, well, i would totally do that too if someone gave me free tickets to one in the uk just not london i don't like london i would go anywhere else in the uk <laughs> but i wouldn't go to london <laughs> Which is funny because so many of my friends live in London. They're always saying, "Come down and visit me. Come and stay the weekend." And I'm like, <laughs> "Sure. Uh, why don't you meet me in like Stoke on Tent? It's like about four hours away from you, but you know, I'll come there." <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, it is funny. Well, that was cool. I like that. We actually listened to two songs now, which was great. So. We did. And uh, the winner of the giveaway too. Yeah. So um, the badge giveaway for those that don't know what we're talking about at the start of this video. In the previous video, we were making little quotes like um, if we were to put a quote in a badge for ourselves, I said Luz would be, Taka, scream for me. <laughs> I can't even remember what well, Taka is my, my squishy. squishy. Uh, so what is your one okay rock quote that if you had a badge made just for you what would it say and what we're doing is louise and i are going to pick one each that are our favorite from all the comments from all the videos that we talk about this badge make them into a badge and send them to two winners yeah so put your little quote below what your one okay rock quote would be if it was to be a badge just for you yeah do it do it do it do it do, do it. it do it because you know <laughs> Now that we've uh, announced the giveaway, we can do this one. Yeah, we can. Okay, so Louise, are both of those songs going on your playlist? Um, yeah, I think that I've got to re-listen to the second one because I was totally distracted by the watching the concert stuff that was happening. But I like them both. Um, definitely loved Mighty Long Fall, and that's definitely going on my Spotify. And I just, yeah, I'll re-listen to the second one. It, it's more, definitely more pop yeah. rock, but I did enjoy it. I, I think the distracted. second one is one of those songs that grows on you. Yeah, exactly. So. Because once I started like listen like the second half, I started to warm to it more. And by the time we got to the end, I was like, you know what? I actually do like this song. I think it's just one of those songs that slowly, you it know, you don't you. click with every song. Exactly. Sometimes you do need to listen to them a few times, and that was one of them. So both of them will be going on. Lean's one okay rock playlist, it's which is growing. I know mine, okay, no. mine is growing, growing too. I was like, I was like really enjoying listening to them the other day. So okay Let's do so it. we will catch you guys in the next one don't forget to leave your comments below like this video and subscribe bye bye you did a good job Lini. please don't hey fan base so fluffy what so is cute. actually wrong you ready? with you you're dance such a, dance. a freak dance a dance system failure lean sudden hey ew